What's up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Ben and on this channel we talk about baby gear, EDC, and parenthood. Now I do a lot of content about the stuff I carry in my pockets, but today I wanted to talk about some of the things that I carry or use every single day and that I don't leave home without. They might not necessarily be EDC items, although I do really use them every day, but these are things that if I leave them at home or if I'm not wearing them, I just feel a little bit naked. So first thing up that I never leave home without, and this is no surprise, is my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now this one is in a case from Nomad. This is one of their tougher leather cases. I think it's called the Rugged Leather Case. I've had this thing for a couple of years now, and it's great for taking photos, for taking videos of my wife and kids, and for creating content on the go. But like many of you out there, I carry an iPhone. Uh, I'm deep into the Apple ecosystem, as you'll see as I go through all of these items but it's something that has really served me well and I haven't needed to upgrade yet. Now, along the same lines of my Apple iPhone, I never leave home without a good set of earbuds. Now, AirPods are essential for me because I'm either always taking calls, listening to music, or listening to podcasts or books on tape, and I really enjoy having the sound quality and the convenience of just having a set of headphones with me. Now, the ones I carry are the AirPod Pros. These are the first generation ones, and I've got them in a little Andar leather case to keep the case uh, the actual Apple case nice and clean because they do scratch up pretty easily so if you're gonna get a pair of AirPods or get some for Christmas I would definitely recommend throwing a case on there. Now third on the list of things I never leave home without and that I wear every single day is gonna be my Apple Watch. Now you can say what you want about the Apple suite of products, but for me, the Apple Watch is something that I use every single day to time things, to not only keep myself aware of time, but to also make sure that I'm tracking things. So I'm trying to get a little bit healthier, so I use it to track my workouts, I use it to quickly respond to text messages, or sometimes even take phone calls if I'm in a pinch. And the best part about it is when I have the GPS going in my truck, it gives me a little tap on the wrist to let me know when a turn is coming up. Now for me, this is really useful. I get lost all the time and having that little tactile feel of a tap on the wrist to remind me that I'm gonna need to turn so that I don't get distracted is incredibly helpful. Next up on the list is a good quality pocket knife. So every day when I leave the house, I have some kind of knife on me. This is one of my most carried knives right now. This is a CRK Umnumzan. This thing, to be honest, is a little bit overkill for the general user. Most people don't need to carry something this beefy. I probably don't either. But knives to me are something that are an incredibly useful tool. And I've carried one every day since I got my first one, a little Swiss Army knife, when I was about five years old. And sometimes when I travel, I've noticed if I'm not able to have a checked bag and I just have a carry-on and I don't have a knife with me, I feel kind of naked and uncomfortable and like I might run into a situation where I need a knife and I don't have one. Now, a pocket knife is incredibly useful, not only for doing food prep or opening packages, but I've always run into some situation where I'm the one who always has a pocket knife and somebody in my friend group knows it and they're gonna ask for it so that they can use it. Now, next up on the list is a flashlight. Now, I could just use my iPhone or my Apple Watch as a flashlight, but I do like having a dedicated light source. This is a Prometheus Beta QRV2 in brass, and this is a super bright little light that gives you a great light source. I tend to work a lot in dark rooms. I tend to be out quite a bit doing things at night, you know, whether I'm walking the dog or getting the mail. Having a little dedicated light source that puts out quite a bit of light is incredibly useful. One, just for your own safety so that if you're walking along the road, you know cars can see you, or if you're just trying to find something small. All right, next up on the list of things I carry every single day is this. Now this thing might look a little bit strange, but this is a Carter Move Mug from Fellow. Now, Fellow is a coffee products company. They make the Ode Grinder, which I have downstairs on my kitchen counter. Coffee is something that I am obsessed with. It's something that it's one of the first things I find whenever I'm traveling. I try to find a great coffee shop every day. I'm usually at some kind of coffee shop, whether that's Night Swim here locally or finding something out when I'm traveling. But coffee is an essential to me. It's something I do every single day, kind of part of my daily ritual. And having a nice reusable coffee mug with especially this one, which has a ceramic lining and a splash guard, this allows me to get the best coffee drinking experience I can. Plus, at the end of the day, having a reusable mug is just a little bit better for the environment. 
Now, next up on the list is a pen. Now, this is the Refine Co EP1 in brass. This is one of my favorite pens of all time. It's a really great little bolt action pen. And because it's brass, it's actually antimicrobial. So we all know our hands are disgusting, especially coming out of the pandemic. I hate touching things that other people are touching all day long. So having my own dedicated pen, if I need to write something down or sign a receipt or sign a bill at a restaurant, I would much rather have my own pen with me that I know is gonna work rather than having to wait around for someone to hand me their disgusting pen that everybody else in the restaurant has touched. Now, next up on the list are a couple of things that I wear pretty much every day and don't leave the house without. And first up are these knock around aviator sunglasses. Now, I saw these on an Instagram ad, and what I was looking for was a cheap polarized pair of sunglasses that I could take to Disney World that if I lost them or if I set them down, I wouldn't be totally upset that I had left them somewhere and I wasn't losing a $150 pair of sunglasses. I think these things retail for about $25 or $30, and then you include shipping. I think it was like $35 total. So if I lose a $35 pair of sunglasses, I'm not going to be upset. But the biggest surprise was actually how well built they are. Um, I was really surprised at kind of budget friendly sunglasses and how well constructed they are. And they've actually quickly become one of my favorite pairs. All right, next up on the list is a good quality hat. Now, I personally love the hats from Melon. I've got several of these. These are the Trenches Icon Hydro hats. Um, so they are sweat resistant. They have a liner inside them, so they're super comfortable. The visor actually has a floating core, so if I'm out on the lake or if I'm swimming somewhere and I drop it in, I know that the hat's gonna stay on the surface. These hats are not cheap. They're about $70 each retail. Now, one of the themes you're gonna see with some of the things coming up is that sometimes I'll spend a little bit of more money on things because they have a better warranty. For example, with my melon hats, they have a great warranty where I had an issue with one of the hats, the dye from the liner actually soaked through into the material of the hat and showed some kind of black splotches. I wrote them an email and just said, hey, this is what's going on. I've tried your cleaning tips. It didn't work. Is there any way you can help me? They wrote back and said, yes, this is covered under our warranty and we will ship you a new hat free of charge. So those types of things I'm willing to spend a little bit more money on if companies really stand behind their product. And you'll kind of see that as a theme throughout the next couple of pieces. All right, next up on the list, these are the Lululemon ABC Slim Fit Pants. Now, I resisted the Lululemon train for a long time. I tried to find alternatives. I tried to find other companies that made stuff that was just as high quality for the same amount of money. But what I've found is that Lululemon, even though they are expensive, these retail for about $128 per pair. They are by far the most comfortable and have the best warranty of any company out there. And on top of all of that, I can wear these for a couple of days before I have to wash them because they have this anti-stink something infused into them, some kind of black voodoo magic that makes them not smell even when you wear them for a week at a time. Now, next up on my list are all the things that I wear from Patagonia. Now, again, this might be a luxury company with a premium price tag, but one, they're doing a lot of good and putting money where their mouth is to do good for the planet and try to make eco-friendly products. But on top of that, they have what's called their ironclad guarantee. So I've got their puffer vest, which I wear pretty much every day in the winter time. I've got their better sweater because no finance bro is complete without a better sweater. And then for those super cold days, I have their Iron Forge hemp work jacket, which is super, super warm. Now, all of this might be a little bit of overkill for living in South Carolina, but with Patagonia, I know that it's got a great guarantee and that they really stand behind their products. Now, next up on the list is my Pilot Wallet from Andar. Now, I already showed you my leather case that I have from Andar for my AirPods Pro, but this thing has been a mainstay in my pocket for the last probably year or so. Now, one of the things I really like about this is how you get your cards out of the wallet. So it's super minimal and you just have this little slot here in the top. But what you do is you pop this trigger at the bottom and all your cards pop out so you can grab anything that you need really quickly and easily. Now, the great thing about this wallet, because it is so slim, is that I can carry it in my back pocket and I don't even notice it. I can even throw it in my jacket or throw it in my gym shorts if I'm working out and make sure that I always have my ID, my carry permit, and any cards that I might need for the day. 
But next up is the bag that I carry pretty much every single day. And it serves not only as my EDC bag, but also as my diaper carry bag because we have a two year old boy. Now, this is the Chrome Cadet Sling Bag. I think the whole thing is about nine liters. Um, Chrome has made incredible stuff for years. I really got into their stuff when I was like a hipster cyclist back in the day in college, but they have this incredible buckle release system. It's just a seat belt release, which makes it really easy to get the bag on and off. And I found that this nine liter bag is big enough to carry all of my essentials. So in here, I've got, you know, first aid kit, I've got, a tourniquet, I've got snacks for the little guy, and then I've also got in the main compartment all of my diaper changing stuff. So we've got pull-ups for him, we've got wipes, we've got snacks, we've got a towel to lay down on the ground in case we are in a place that doesn't have a changing pad, which surprisingly or not surprisingly if you're a guy and you go into a men's room, a lot of men's rooms don't have changing stations. So I always carry something around with me to be able to lay him down on to get him changed while we're out and about. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the video today. If you like this kind of content, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you loved it, consider subscribing to the channel up above and make sure to hit the bell notification so that you don't miss anything when we upload. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.